cut cut in Elevator, welcome to the 5280. The lyrical, satirical, spiritual, bunch of weirdos with some critical ambitions, caught in those hustling positions. Uh, mile high, yeah, it's a given now. We are elevated, it's the 5280 show. Coming at you from the heart of Colorado. Take a moment of your time, we just may blow your mind. Yeah, we blow it all out. Hey, now it's showtime. What's up, 5280? Little, little, little. Hi, <laughs> I'm Shy. Antonio Venomous here. I'm DJ Archie Jenks. And we are elevated. It's the 5280 show. Hello, everybody. We're gonna just see myself on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what you were pointing at. I was looking at myself at the screen over there, and I'm like, I'm being real loud. It looks like I'm doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch it. No, stop it. We're here to talk about serious things. Yeah. Oh, that's cold. Archie, topic number one. What we got today? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> one of those episodes. <laughs> Crack a can. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. It was just like one of those moments. You got to think about people opening up a can of whoop ass. Mm-hmm. Stone Cold Steve Austin. If you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, no. Um, there's this whole thing. There's this dude on YouTube uh, who talks about how whack Denver rappers are. There's a guy like on YouTube who specifically targets Denver rappers? Yeah, it just occurred to me. Like, I didn't mention it in our pre-show meeting that I had seen such things. But anyways. Um, That's interesting. I, I don't want to talk about that anymore. Let's talk about this rap battle. Let's talk about this rap battle. What you got? Um, It's for dope MCs only. Yeah. Of course, this rap battle. It's going to be in a unspecified Denver location yet to be determined <laughs> to the public. All right, Denver hip hop, uh, Denver rappers. We have a show, a freestyle battle, with a thousand dollar cash prize. The cool thing about this event is it is not pay to play. We don't believe in that. We don't believe that you, as an artist, ha- have to pay us to perform and express yourself. So we want some passionate artists, passionate rappers for this freestyle battle. It is November 9th at. An undisclosed location. Mm. Very interesting. <laughs> you you couldn't have said it better. Thanks. I couldn't have said it better myself. I Thank did. You. I didn't say it better myself. Thank you. Check it out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Metro Beats DJ. Find more information on this rap battle on November 9th. Yeah. Rap battle hosted by Metro Beats Entertainment. Yep. Contact at Metro Beats DJ on your favorite social media. Hit them up. Hit them up. If you're listening to them on uh, on on this, contact at Metro Beats DJ. Tell them, hey, I want to be part of this uh, rap battle because I spit dope rhymes. Slide in the DMs. I'm not no sucker MC. Nah. Do it on Facebook. Shout out another DJ. Shout out your friends. Tell them, hey, I'm going to throw down. It's going to be a rap battle. What what type of rap battle, Tony V? Fucking hip hop rap battle. Hip hip hop rap battle. Uh, what what'd you want me to say? I have no idea. I don't know. It was like some sort of uh, freestyle. Freestyle hip hop rap battle right here in Denver, Colorado. Come rep it. Because we got to represent. Mm-hmm. We're, in the, we're in the middle. We're not West Coast. We got We're our own flavor. Coast. We're not South Coast. We're not. So, sorry. <laughs> no, we, we got the right amount of green chili flavor. Ooh. Yeah. Colorado does have some good green chili. Yeah. Telling you. Yeah. yeah. Green chili. Um, I was out in Seattle a couple months back. Shout out, Seattle. Uh, the green chili is not as good. Nowhere near as good as Colorado's green chili. Shout out, Seattle. Green chili. 
on a cold winter day. Okay. In Bronco Stadium. Like, is that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing. I should probably know if that's a thing. Let's let's hit up the the uh, the kiosks, the f- little food trucks or food courts. Will someone let me know if that's a thing? Mile High Stadium, be like, hey, do you guys got something with green chili on it, and do you serve it during the winter? <laughs> Fuck, I had this idea. Cause I'm out here to see the Broncos, man, <laughs> and warm my soul with some green chili. <laughs> of course, I like football. Colorado, Denver. I always like football, babe. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know this. <laughs> no, sometimes you just got to rep, rep, rep the situation when it is. What, what Speaking of Halloween, I, I really want to talk about Halloween. I'm sorry. Hey, we should talk about Halloween after the smoke break. <laughs> oh, there's a... Okay. Yeah, we got... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. We got a smoke break. We're going to get elevated. All right. It's the 5280 show. Every time you say elevated... I every time I say elevated, I eat a nug of weed. <laughs> <laughs> that was better than what I was thinking in my head. I all right, good, <laughs> good, because that was ass. I don't, I, I can't right. imagine what you had. You, you know what? It's time for that smoke break. Yes, um, it's time. we're gonna watch this video from Lil Stacks slash Fox White. The title of this music video is Out in the Woods. Give it a listen, give it a watch. We'll be right back. Blah. Talk to the secrets they keep You never hear repeat They think it's thieves And I just want a billion of bands And a bad bitch Hope she can give me in Cause I'm that rich Heaven to Hollywood I'll hang with the stars Ride my wrongs in both type of bars I just wanna die in a state of respect I wanna count racks and cut all the checks To get back to those who gave no neck To prove you all I am the best I've etched that wrist I've learned that rope I've drowned that pillow Tasted that smoke Slept alone Been the joke Cried inside but still said no Riddle my fingers, riddle me this The best child who's five foot six Went out, killed all these kids Would you start to listen to the words he spit? Out in the woods to drown on the sands Leave me in peace like the bodies in the ground Out of my name and I'll leave you there You act like you love me but you don't really care Out in the woods to drown on the sands Leave me in peace like the bodies in the ground Spirits come out where the world was in bed Something by them and by them I was led Out in the woods to drown on the sands Leave me in peace like the bodies in the ground Out of my name and I'll leave you there You act like you love me But you don't really care Out in the woods To drown in sounds Leave me a piece Like the bodies in the ground Spirits come out When the world was a bed Somebody had me When animals led Once I stood by the wooded edge of pines of stones of trickling brooks I peered over the stream's pebbled ledge to see my future, how it looks I cast my wish that I held so tight like sails wrapped around their towering mast I set my direction in the night to onward drift far from the past What up everybody? Welcome back to Elevated the 5280 Show You all just watched Lil Stax slash Fox White with his newest music video, his newest song, Out in the Woods out in the woods. Uh, Archie, I'd like to get uh, your opinion on it. I'm, uh, for everybody that's listening, I'm friends with Lil Stacks slash Fox White. We went to college together. He's an actor, too. We both trying to merge acting and rapping together, make a brand off of it, make a career out of it, be passionate about it. So I, I have my own opinion that I'll give, but I would love to hear your opinion, Archie. We're out here trying to build up artists. Mm-hmm. I mean, all of us. It's what Metro Beats Entertainment is about. And so I saw the video, and the video looked fantastic. Okay. Video looked dope. Okay. 
and uh, looked like the like he had fun making the video. I agree. I don't think I really caught with his his delivery. Mm -hmm. I guess it didn't really land with me. Yeah. Um, like some of the shit that he did, like the way he changed up the vocals. Uh huh. Like it was different. It was fun. I liked it. I did yeah, enjoy it. I did. It was cool. I liked that part too. Is it, I, oh shit! <laughs> Said his real name for any of those stalkers out there. Yeah. We'll oh, scramble that. Will Stacks slash Fox White. Um, I just want to say I love your uniqueness. I know, um, and this goes for every artist. Um, I know your taste isn't for everybody, as my taste in music and the way I perform isn't for everybody, but. I fucking love how unique you are, and I love how you vary up your style. Use a lot of variation with your style. You inspire me in that way. I, I, God damn it. I censor that part for the creeps. Uh, you inspire me a lot. Lil Stacks slash Fox White. But anyways, uh, go ahead and continue what you were saying. Um, yeah, no, keep at it. Uh, your sound reminded me of, uh, another, uh, rap group. If you remember 303. 303. I mean, that's, that's it. Like, yeah. that's the, the first thing that I thought of. So, I mean, if we're going to talk about Colorado and Denver and repping, repping the shit. Yep. I guess, like, coming from outside of the state. That is one of the sounds that I thought of in Colorado yeah. before I came. came and I here. can't wait. I can't wait to uh to see what Denver hip hop does uh when October comes around, because then you get Halloween and you get that theme, that horror, that scary shit, and everybody's all into Halloween. Yes. Uh, I would love to hear some some horror type raps from Denver hip hop. Okay. Um, I'm really into horror. I'm really into Halloween. Do you feel, Send are you us, a Halloween person, Archie? I love, love Halloween. Uh, yeah, it, Halloween's my jam. I'm just going to leave yeah. it at that. I don't, I don't, there's nothing else to say. Have you been to a haunted house? Yes, I love to be scared and uh -huh. pretend I'm not. Because there's pretty ladies around. Okay, see ya. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. I was gonna say, like, my point of view is I just love being scared, but to each I'm their be own. straight. To each their own. Um, nah, I'm... I, I used to work in a haunted house. I, I worked in two haunted houses. Uh, I won't say the names, just, just to be safe. Hmm. But I worked in two major uh, haunted houses here in Denver. And from my perspective, being the scarer, Fuck, man. It's amazing. Like, <laughs> like if you want to be an actor you were mentioning, I feel like doing one one season of A Haunted House would be fun for you. Would right. you want to make people piss their pants is what I'm trying to get at. Um, It's not in my top ten list. <laughs> <laughs> top ten faves. No. Um, shit. No, but I do understand, like, it, it feels amazing to... Uh, have someone react to what you are presenting them. Mm -hmm. Like what you are presenting them makes them feel some type of way. Like yeah. if it's scared enough to piss their fucking pants, mm -hmm. I want to be there. Cause I'm not pissing my pants. <laughs> <laughs> cause, Cause you got ladies. <laughs> you got ladies around you. Nah, but um, I don't know. I think if they made you walk through the shit, the maze, the haunted house, alone in the dark, mm -hmm. and like jumbled it up so like none of your party was next to you oh, when you yeah, went, yeah, yeah. right? So like it was just like you're vulnerable. It's you, yeah, right? How would you feel? I, I would love that idea. Um, I was at a corn maze last season, uh, and it was definitely like maze set up more so like uh, not like an actual pathway. It was an actual maze, and actors hit out in different areas. I love that idea. If, all right, everybody listening to the Elevated 5280 show, if you donate $100 each, we could get this project going. 
we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll grow some corn. We'll pay a farmer to we're, fucking we're, lawn mow a corn maze for us. We're just we're just jumping into this one. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Absolutely. Okay. No thoughts so about it. Get, Give me, give me a hundred bucks, and I'll give you an ear of corn or something. <laughs> yeah, we could. At the end of the maze, here you deserve this corn. Like when we, we got to deliver this product, man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll worry about the logistics later. We're just gonna fucking make it happen now. All right, so Elevated the Fifty Two Eighty Show is gonna put on a corn maze of sorts, not in two thousand eighteen. <laughs> we'll make Jesus. it happen. We'll make it happen. Anyways, guys. <laughs> We're just bullshitting around. Uh, that is it for today's podcast. We want to thank you all for listening. I am Antonio Venomous. I'm DJ Archie Jenks. Don't forget to sign up for the rap battle at Metro Beats Entertainment. Hit us up in the DMs. Yeah. Let us know you're trying to get in there. Woo! You got dope rhymes. And you like to have a good time. That's, hey. I'm not a rapper. Joe Primes like to have a good time. <laughs> All right, everybody. We out. <laughs>